Hi, I'm Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't already done so, I would truly appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification alerts so that you know when I post my next video. Today, I'm going to be uh, sharing with you the setup of my April month layout the month itself and then the monthly dashboard in which I because I franken planned it if you recall from my past videos I had refreshed or I had in January I had set it up as three different planners and then I've merged them down for this second quarter of the year and um, that's so today I'm going to do together my month and my monthly dashboard I did the weeks prior uh, one of the weeks anyway and so I'm going to be using for this layout, my intent is to use my two new sticker books from Chic, uh, Live Love Posh. I have Chic Spring and Crafty Planner. And then I have some coordinating washi that I think will work with the layout that I'm intending in case I need it. I have some washi to work with. And I've already taken out of my planner just to... Since these videos tend to be longer when I do the two spreads together, um, I've already taken out of here my April month and monthly dashboard. So let me just set this aside. And there's my cat meow for you saying hello herself. <laughs> That's Gabby. So here is my month. And um, I have, let me move this out of the way a little bit. So I've got my month for April, and then I also have, and I've already tacked together the pages, um, the dash, monthly dashboard for April as well. So this month dashboard comes out of the Celestial Planner. And then the month itself is just from the uh, Lafleur Planner collection. So I'm going to start with, I think, my month. I may jump around a bit because I want to try and make these two spreads match or coordinate. Maybe using the same stickers. We'll see how far I get with that. So let me just get in here and jump right in. So I think I want to start with, I was kind of looking through the stickers here, and I think I want to start with this, these stickers here. So it's kind of, again, it's the Crafty Planner. So it has kind of that, you know, pinks and, you know, it has touches of yellow, which bring in that spring feel. And, you know, it's all about working and, you know, although working and working pretty, <laughs> you know, with your florals and, you know, the, the pastel type colors are reminiscent of like spring and Easter time. So I'm going to go ahead and probably start with, um, cause I, this is, so these are paper stickers and this is one big sticker. So I think I'm actually going to jump a little bit and start over on my monthly dashboard. So let me turn this over. I'm just going to get the tab out of the way for now. So also with this setup, I am changing the blocks and how I was using them. And prior, I would put over here in this, which is the largest area of the dashboard, the um, the three, I would highlight the three areas that I was focusing on for the year and then write down my goals to reach for that month in those three boxes or three areas, let's say. So, and then I, you know, put other things in other places. I think the only thing that may stay the same is the habit tracking area here but I think everything else I've really shifted everything so because this is my largest area I'm going to go ahead and take out um, this page because I expect to use the whole page okay so I want to use this large sticker here in this square because this square is now going to become, at least for now, my YouTube 
a box or focus area. So this, this box will now, for the second quarter, become my YouTube. Unless I find it's not working, then I'll change it next month. But for now, that's what it's gonna be. So let me go ahead and get these, this big sticker in there. And I think, and again, because of the size and its orientation, I think I'm just going to put it over here, left side. Now, this is changing. This header is going to change. So before I put that down, let me wipe this out because I, I will need to put a box here. Um, let's see, white out. Here we go. I know that I'm gonna be putting a different uh, tag or title on this. What I do also now wanna find before I put that big sticker down, so I don't have to try and peel it up later, is I'm looking to now the Chic Spring sticker book from Live Love Posh. And I'm looking for boxes such as these. And I think because of the color, I think I'm gonna go with the mint color. So this middle, so sort of the mint green, I think that would be the best coordinating color. So I'll do mint. Let me grab that. All right. And I'm gonna get this on here and then I can put that sticker down. Then I'll feel more comfortable putting the sticker down. Just because if I did, I'd have to peel it up and let's see. I think this fits the whole area. Yeah, this will fit the whole area. As I'm turning my paper 360 degrees for you, making you dizzy. <laughs> All right, so this one here is gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna pull back my big sticker to get that in this area here. I'm hoping not to cover this box too much so I may have to bring it up a bit. So in the end, I probably had to bring it up and it wouldn't have even mattered. Okay, so I think this will be, I also didn't want to get in the way of the uh, disc area here. Now as well, I know that since this is gonna be my YouTube area, I'm gonna get this piece of paper under here and use my white out again to just white out this box because I know that I'm gonna be labeling it something different. All right. And I don't think I'm going to put anything here other than maybe, I, maybe I'll put a flower. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna letter in up here. So I think probably the best thing would just to cover this a tiny bit would be to use maybe a floral sticker. Okay. So let's get this in here. There's no, no spread is complete unless you have your florals on it. <laughs> And I'm gonna trim it down. I'm gonna keep the pieces of it just because I anticipate being able to use it again. Oop, after it sticks to my desktop. Okay. And all I do is I just put it back on the paper just to hold on to it, basically. And then this one, I gotta get this other side here. And I think I'll get my headers in and then I can, cause I think each area I'm relabeling. So I may need to uh, get all those in there before I know what I'm doing in each. So let's see, where's my whiteout again? I keep misplacing my whiteout. 
So this one's covered. I got this one done. This one I'm going to letter in. And this one, I, I could just letter it in. So I'm going to leave that for now. And then for sure, this one over here is going to be different. Okay, and I'm going to grab again another mint box. In fact, I'm debating if I'm going to, I know for sure this one's going to be covered, so let me wait this one out too. Might as well do them as a group. I'm debating if the other one needs to be covered or not, or if I can just work, work around that. Luckily, there's two pages of the uh, pages of those because I think those stickers I would be using up frequently. Um, okay, so we're down here, and I went a little over on the white out, but that's I can fix that. That's not a problem. My bigger concern is making sure it's straight. <laughs> All right. And I have one up here, which that one, let me first check my stickers here. So I'm looking for the smaller stickers. Um, I think. I'm going to try, since they're white stickers, white sticker paper around it, I think I'm going to try and see if this will cover it. Let's see. I think I can get most of it. Yeah, that's, I can get, for the most part, it'll be covered. And then over here, I'm going to... Also put another box. So normally I start on the month and I work my way into the monthly dashboard, but because I had some larger stickers, I just wanted to get those down. And I may still, um, still jump back and forth, it depends, because there are two other large stickers that I would need to make sure I have room for. I think for, I'm still debating on this, so I don't exactly want to put anything down just yet. So let me just set this aside. And, oop, sorry. I have, so my month, let's just flip back to that quickly. So my month is going to be same thing is I have this area down here that I think I can work with and I think that will work with this and so this is where now I will probably start incorporating some washi tape um, because that's going to help me fill in sort of the blanks so this one here I'm going to put down at the bottom and it I like that it's edged so I'm going to put this right at the edge of this, this line over here. Papers everywhere. Let's see. If I get it straight on here, I may have to clip one of the legs or I may not. Let's see. Nope. I'm, I'm good. I don't have to clip it. Okay. So... Well, that, okay, I think I accidentally hit something. Okay, so over here I'm going to um, put, I need to get my washi tape out because I think I'm going to fill in, I have this whole, oops, I have this whole week almost at the very top. So that's where I believe I'm going to be using that washi. 
So let's set this aside. And I think probably the best, I was kind of deciding on the best color, but I was kind of leaning towards this. So I think this is what I'll do. We'll see how it looks. Maybe I won't like it. <laughs> So a lot of the times I'll just use washi to fill in the blanks. And there are a few Easter style pictures in another book from Live Love Posh that I'm probably going to incorporate as well. So here's my new Bloom Gold Luxe Metal Cutter for my washi tape. So I'm going to get this paper. Let's see, should it go this way or the other way? Let's put it the other way. Looks better. I'm going to get this in here. All right. I sometimes feel like I'm out, when I'm doing this washi, um, I'm usually out of frame for you, and I apologize. Oops. I just have a little piece here. I don't know if I can get this off. I don't want it hanging over. So I gotta remember to do the washi in the same direction. So we're gonna go this way with it. Okay. And I'm just going to, again, I'll try and stay in frame here. Okay. It's kind of, this washi tape is, the pattern on it, for whatever reason, always makes it look like it's crooked, but it's not. I'm not sure why. I think it's just the optical illusion of the washi. Not quite straight there. All right. It sticks well, because I did rip my page a little bit. <laughs> okay. And then, I'm gonna add in, now I know that I have and this is gonna, so when I'm out or not able to do work, I will typically mark that time off with washi. So because I already have this same pattern going, I don't wanna change, but I'm just gonna use a different color to mark off the days that I know I cannot get up into my craft room. So those are, this day, all right, let's see. So on this day, I won't be able to, and then hopefully, I'm gonna verify, no, there is another day, I think it's the 22nd, but I don't wanna put this down just yet in case it sticks, and then I can't get it up. So uh, let me leave that one date as the only date that I know of at the moment. Now the other thing I'm going to need to do is find a coordinating brush pen. I think it's pretty close. I think I'm going to go with that. That is the Tombow 243. Okay, so next what I want to do, because I know... Um, let's see, do I have any other open areas? No. So I think what I'm going to do, just to get a few more of these stickers over onto the month, before I move back over to the month dashboard, is I think I'm going to put these here. Just for something fun. And then I'm going to take, to add a little bit more color to the month, I just take my Tombow just to highlight these days. And then I want to get another floral in here. 
And since this is the other largest area, I'm going to cover my notes corner over here. I probably didn't need to because these are white sticker based, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to use this one large floral sticker. Let's see how much. Hopefully I don't have to cut up much of it just to get it in there. Okay. Let's see. I need to angle it so that I can get the most real estate out of my sticker. And I will have a lot left over, which I will just trim off and I'll keep that. I'll just stick it back onto there. So let me cut this edge off. Um, what's nice is these are leaves that I'm cutting off, so I may have some options to reuse that somewhere on the page. And then the smaller pieces I just won't hold on to. One more here. And that flew off somewhere. I'll get it later. <laughs> okay. So now I have my two pages here. And I love that big floral in the corner. It is definitely very pretty. Okay, is there anything else I'm gonna add here? One thing I am going to go through and do, which I usually do with my mild liners, but because I'm gonna keep the color consistent throughout, I usually will highlight my holidays just in the, again, I used to do the mild liner, but I'll do this one since um, I've used it in the headers. Okay, oh, I almost didn't see that one. Okay, I'm gonna look at this other book quickly because I believe it was this one here. So let me grab the bunny. And I'm, I think I'm gonna be grabbing a few of the yellow elements. Let's see, I'm gonna get the bunny on for Easter. Oop. Oh no, I just cut the bunny's head off. <laughs> well, I guess he's gonna stay there because now I have to kind of retrofit his head back on there. <laughs> Let's see. I pulled it too hard, I guess. I think I can get this back on so it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> leave it to me to cut the poor little bunny's head off. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to have to leave it like that. <laughs> yes, you don't even notice. Worst case, I'll add a bow on there. Okay. Um, poor bunny. <laughs> so here is the wee or the month. Let's see, am I going to add anything else? element wise from here I have the paints the washies on the other page and I think let's see I'm gonna see if this will fit in the Easter day I think I may have to trim it down a bit and get more use out of that that space or you know I don't want to not use the stickers and let's see here. Let's see if I can get this in here without covering too much. Okay, perfect. It actually fit pretty good. All right, so sticker wise, I think the remainder I'm going to put over on the other page, the monthly page. I could put something else in there, but I'm gonna go back. So for now, I'm gonna leave this as it is, other than to highlight the month in the year, which is something I usually will do, is I'm going to put a little swash of the Tombow marker up here. 
Okay. I always just like to highlight the month. Sometimes when there's a lot going on or if it's just not plain, then this doesn't stick out very much. And I don't always like to cover it with another sticker. So now I'm gonna move over to the month, monthly dashboard, and get some of those things cleared out. Checked off and cleared out because, so this floral, I was gonna put over here. I have something for this box. And um, it will not take up that whole space. So having something else there will work. I'm gonna save the leaves. All right. We're gonna keep going here. So because I put in the upper corner the a washi and scissors, I'm going to add in the other washi at the bottom. So like over here, just to kind of border that. I'm still not sure about this. Over here in the past, I had been putting covering this with boxes, but I'm gonna use the Tombow this time. So I am just gonna kind of give it a swash of color, kind of organic. All right. And those I will use my um, gel or micron to write in, but first I'm gonna finish up getting some more of these on there. I'm oh, trying to get out the bigger stickers first. Once those, I mean the smaller ones are, I can easily place those. So let's see, this I believe I'm going to put right here. What's down here? This is, yes, I can put this one here. It'll kind of filter over to both of them. Bring that over as close as I can to the disc area. Okay. Now all I have left are my smaller pieces. And then again, I have some um, leaves and things that I could use. So I'm going to use, let's see, this was, I'm just taking a look at my notes to see what they were so that I know how much room I have in these. So I think for the purpose of these smaller squares, I'm going to use these two stickers. So I've got, um, let's see, I think I'm gonna have to put this one at the bottom. I'm gonna angle it outward because I'm gonna do that with the glue too. Okay. Now because I put washi on the other page, I wanna bring it in and tie it in over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is even after I talk about not lifting up the sticker, I may have to lift it up <laughs> because I want to put it along here, which means the, the leg of the desk or the shelf here has to be, I got to pull that up. And hopefully it comes up easily. Okay. Oh, I gotta go the other way, just to stay consistent. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up under there as best as I can. White out tape, it does wonders. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this back over here again. At least now I won't see the line through it. I don't think I can go up to here. Yes, I can. I wanna try and get it up there as far as I can so that I don't take up too much space down here. Now I'm not going to have this go all the way over, so I'm just going to flip that down before I accidentally rip it. Okay. And now for this side to tie it in, I'm also going to put some over here. However, remember I said I wasn't sure about this 
I think to stay these every time I turn this page the little discs get stuck together um to keep it consistent I'm probably going to cover that and put a box over it and then at least it is looks similar so let me go ahead and get that covered up because that's also where I'm going to cover up this line because I am going to use that tape there, the washi tape. So I'm going to pull out, let's see, I need another mint box. I think I'm going to see if this larger one will fit. It may end up covering up unless I go the other way. If that makes any sense. Let me see. How much am I covering up if I do this? You know, if I lift this, I think I can get it under that sticker and take up minimal space on the bullet point or bullet area. I think I can get this up enough that I can get this down without, I want to kind of, Get it right up to the bottom of that box. There we go. Let's see, am I gonna go to the edge? Go outside of the edge a bit. All right, and then I can just kind of filter that over. Here we go, let's just pull this out. And I was thinking of doing that right here Let's see if I can get this, and, and I'm going to do it even, because then what I might do is when I get to the end, is I'm going to trim it just so that I can take it off or get the roll out of the way. And then what I want to do... So now I have a, you know, I'm tying in my month and my monthly dashboard. So I have this over there. I have that. I am going to put some more of that down here just because it doesn't, it looks bare down here and I need, I want to tie this in together. So I'm going to put a bit down here. This box, let me just make sure I'm not covering up too much. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that looks more coordinated. This I technically need, let me see if I could find one more box that I might be able to use. So the boxes I'm pulling are from the Chic Spring book. So I'm gonna use this larger square, again, just to be different, have it look different. And I'm gonna put it, I don't know if I'm gonna center it or, or not. I mean, it's probably bigger than I need. I think I'm gonna go up into the box up here a bit. That at least got that out of there. And then I have to have at least 50 tools out here. <laughs> uh, white out. I just want to make sure I can't see the line under here. So I'm going to redo this. Okay. Now I think it'll go down and will look much better than if I hadn't done all that. Okay. So let me get in my um, remaining stickers. 
it's a you know unusually longer video only because you know I'm doing two layouts at once. So what I'm going to do is pull all the stickers that I have left off of the paper so that I know what I have readily available. And then I'm going to know where I'm going to stick them down. So this one here I'm going to put over here. And I've got my paints, which, let me just double check the month again. I think there was nothing at the bottom of the month. No, there was no availability. So let me put this here. And then I want to bring this over here. I have something here, I think. Am I able to get this in anywhere over here? That would have been cute. Um, I think I'm just going to put it here. So a little bit longer than I had expected, but I really love how this turned out. And then I'm going to go through and letter in nothing here. Okay. And then over here. Since the box is already green, I'm going to use black. And I think to do that so that I can keep, so that, because this is, you know, has a delicate feel to it. I don't want the marker or brush pen to be too dark. So I'm first going to do it with my gel pen, and then I will faux leather the, um, the script of it so that it looks a little bit fancier, let's say. Nothing is ever available in the area that you need it in, right? That's how it goes. Okay, so this box up here, the top right, or left, sorry. So this is going to be the newsletter. Okay, and then this, I do need, I'm going to print this because I want it to almost fill the box. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in and do some faux lettering. Then, let's see, this is going to be, over here I probably won't do any of that. This is going to be Instagram. Okay, and then this box is Facebook. This I'm gonna letter. I think I may, because I feel like now there's a lot of green, I may find it, see if there's a pink I can match. All right, and then this last box is one that I am um, gonna begin working on. I will be sharing it as I progress. So let me letter this in up here. I'll do my faux and then we're done. Let's see. So here we go with the Tombow. Um, and then I'm not used to this longer tip. So um, it probably won't be as perfect as I would want it, but uh, it is what it is. So to maximize my writing space, I'm gonna try and not go past here. Okay. So this one here was the Tombow 772. Now the other thing I had, I've, I've done it in the past and I hadn't done it recently, was I am gonna finish some faux lettering, but 
let me pull back over my month so my notes section I used to do this and I stopped but I think I'm going to do it because sometimes I lose the colors that I had used so what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to put a little line down here then I'm going to do the pink And then in those areas, I'm just gonna make sure my markers are closed. In that, in those boxes, I'm going to write what color I used because um, I have gone, and then as you can tell, you know, I'll come back and I'll keep testing colors. I do need to get my tester page created, um, but just for the purpose of this spread so that I don't have to keep figuring out which one I had used, um, I'm going to go ahead and write these numbers in. So the mint green was 243. And I don't bother writing Tombow because I know if there's a number associated with it, it is a Tombow. And then the pink was 772. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm going to come back and do my faux lettering on my month page or my monthly dashboard. So what I'm going to do on this area here is I'm going to come through with my gel pen and I'm just going to kind of put a little outline in it just to kind of give a little bit more um, visibility since it is pink. All right, just highlights a little bit more. And then I am going to find my, because the letters are very close together in these, I'm going to use my, um, I usually use the soft tip, but I'm going to use the hard tip for this, just so that I don't, um, cut. the soft tip might push it into the other letters. So I'm just going to get some things out of the way here as I keep knocking them over. Okay. And then this one I will do, as I said, off camera only because um, I think I'm going to keep that one a bit of a secret until it's actually finished. And these, I think I'm going to leave. I actually don't want to do the lettering in those, the faux lettering. And then what I'll do is as I do these, you know, I can take my marker and I can just, you know, do a little color swash in it. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All right. So to just finish this up, um, I'm going to just do a quick, whoops, sorry about that. I'll just do a quick flip here for you. It'll, these are going back into my planner. So I have my April tab. This is my catch-all, which is literally a Franken planner between um, Le Fleur, Celestial, and then the weeks from the uh, golden black planner. So I call it catch all, but it's really, it's a Frankenplan catch all. Um, so this is my month. And um, I think that I use pretty much every sticker off the sheet, except for maybe some leaves. And I may pop those in, in a few different places, it depends. And then there is my monthly dashboard, which I love how it looks, and um, I can't wait to start writing in it and working in it. So that is it for today, and I hope I've inspired you. To, if you haven't done your April planner, to set up your April planner months. Um, 
in that I hope you've been inspired by the stickers I've used and how I've used them. Um, if you purchase from, I don't have a code uh, for Live Love Posh, but if you purchase from them, if you can put in the notes sections that you saw my video, I would truly appreciate that. Um, but here it is. This is, I'm finished for now for what I'm going to show. And so I hope I, I've, I've inspired you and in that I've inspired you to do something creative today and every day and that you create your beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you.